So I am here to film an empties video for you. This is my October empties. I have, as usual, my giant Topshop bag full of crap. And like if I don't film an empties now, it's gonna get out of control real quick. I have so many empties. So let's give her. As usual, I have a package of Shiseido facial cotton. Who's surprised? Not me. Um, oh, I also have, whenever I get my Lush bath bombs, I cut them or my bubble bars, I cut them off and I put them in a Ziploc bag and then label them. So this was the Bright Side bubble bar. It's kind of like the comforter, it's called the comforter one, like the pink one, the really big pink one. But this was orange, it smelled kind of citrusy. Let's see, mm, it smelled delicious. It was, I like these ones because they're giant, they're not that expensive and you can use them for so many baths. So that was awesome. Just dropped on the floor. Um, I finished up a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. I feel like I've had this forever. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. I'm not sure if it's different than the regular one, but I actually really like this. I use this in the mornings and I still have another one. Um, I use this more in the summer and then in the winter I use my Embryo Lease. So probably why this has kind of lasted me so long, but it's a really great moisturizer. I really like it. Um, I finished up the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. These are a holy grail for me. I've repurchased these probably 10 times in my life. I absolutely love these. I just find they're nice and exfoliating. I use them every morning and they help keep my texture at bay. Um, I have the Bath & Body Works 24 Hour Ultra Shea Moisture in Sweet Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea, or Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea, and I actually love the scent of this. Um, it's a very summery kind of scent, but like their moisturizers are just kind of okay. I really don't know how I feel about the Bath & Body Works moisturizers. They had like a triple cream one at one point that I loved, and so I've been keep buying their moisturizers, but I don't love the 24-hour Shea ones. They suck. I have a little to-go package of Clinique Take the Day Off Micellar Cleansing Palettes for Face and Eyes. They gave out these samples at eye mats, and they were using them to take Sharpie off, so I did remove my makeup one day with these just to kind of test them and I wear waterproof mascara and it took off most of my makeup but the waterproof mascara was too much scrubbing. I just am not a wipes kind of person. I have the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Baby Unscented Pure Castile Soap. I use this for cleaning my brushes and I buy the baby one because I like that it's unscented. I don't like having a smell in my brushes very much. Like I love my Cinema Secrets but like that smell I don't love it. But yeah, this is the best brush cleaner ever. You can get it for like $10 at your local um, health food store. I get it in like the natural section at my grocery store and it's fantastic. I have the Elnet, L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Silkissime Hairspray. I really don't love these hairsprays. I keep wanting to love them because everyone loves them, but they're just whatever and I freaking, this one, Oh no, this isn't the unscented one, but this one smells gross. I have the unscented one, which also smells gross. I hate the smell of these. Like when I spray my hair in them, I feel like I'm eating hairspray and like I'm gonna die. Just casual. I have, sometimes I don't cut my bath. I don't cut my bath bombs up and now I have no freaking idea what this was. I don't remember what this was. YouTuber, fantastic. Um, I have the Colab Sheer Invisible Dry Shampoo. I really did not like this. It was poop. Um, Batiste and Dove are always my holy grails. That one I tried for the first time and I hated it. Oh, I have another one of these because I stole two at IMAX. I went by the Clinique booth twice. What up? Um, I have the Bath & Body Works Hand Soap. <laughs> Why couldn't I remember what this is called? In Wild Mango Mojito. I actually really like this smell a lot. Yeah, it smells nice. I'm into that used it up and it was hand soap. Um, one more Bath & Body Works product. I have the True Blue Spa Algae Extract, Algae Extract, Algae Extract Malibu Smooth Body Scrub. This was a good body scrub actually. I, I like really gritty body scrubs because I am have really dry skin and this one actually was pretty gritty. I did like it, but I feel like their body scrubs are so, so freaking hit and miss that I hate that I should really stop buying them because again, I had one body scrub I really liked years ago and I keep trying to buy bought different kinds of body scrubs trying to find it and it like doesn't exist. Stop changing your shit. Um, I have the Matrix Clean Remix Instant Dry Shampoo. I think I liked this dry shampoo. I really can't remember. I think I finished it off like more like September-ish. Um, but it's probably so expensive because it's Matrix that I, it was no better than my other ones. 
Um, I have a little travel size of the Batiste dry shampoo. I literally brought two, two full ones of these with me on my trip and finished one. Lol, I never wash my hair. I love Batiste dry shampoo. It's fantastic. I personally prefer the one for dark hair, but it's a lot harder to find in Canada, so I use that one. Um, I finished up the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner. I absolutely love this. This is the holy grail for me. I will always repurchase this. Um, be advised, they changed the packaging. I went in to buy it and I couldn't find it and I almost had a freaking panic attack, but they just changed the packaging. It looks much nicer actually now, so like that's cool. But yeah, amazing if you want to just, like I don't have acne prone skin, but it's the only toner that I use that actually feels like it's doing something. Like it kind of burns a little bit, but like in a good way, like not like burning, but like it just feels like it's actually cleaning your skin as opposed to most toners where you're just like, here's some water on my face. Nothing happened. Great. And I actually have a decent amount of makeup in here. Holy shit. How did that happen? Um, I finished up the Sesh bottle of Sesh Feet. This is my holy grail nail polish top coat. It's fantastic. It dries in seconds. Keeps your nails super shiny. Literally, I've purchased 8,000 of these. I have three concealers that I finished up. Who am I? Um, I finished up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer Light Diffusing. Like, how many names are on this? This is in the shade Neutral Fair or Fair Neutral. And like, honestly, my problem with this is that it's just so yellow toned. Like, give me a pink toned concealer. Like, look at how yellow this is. So yellow toned, like I could make it work. And I also feel like I had to use a lot of this because I finished this up in no time. I recently purchased this and it's empty. So like, I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. I finished up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair 10. Now this concealer is definitely much more pink toned. It's actually a little bit darker, but it works for me. The Fair Neutral is a little light. This is Fair Neutral. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair 10. I like that it's pink toned. It works for me. It's a good dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. If you're on a budget, I still prefer the NARS, but do love that one. And speaking of the NARS, the other concealer I finished up was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 2 Vanilla. This one is a little bit lighter than the um, Maybelline Fit Me and also a little bit more neutral, but not too neutral. I actually really love this concealer. I have it in Chantilly right now. I bought the lighter shade thinking that I'd want to like really brighten my eyes, but I think I like vanilla more. So I will be repurchasing that during the, um, what the fuck's it called? The VIB sale, which is in November. I have 3% battery left. Ah! Um, I have three eyeliners. How did this happen? I think I was just cleaning out my area and I was like, why do I have three dried out fucking eyeliners in my desk? Get rid of them. Um, I have the Kat Von D ink liner, which used to be my holy grail. There's probably still some in here. Oh no, it's a little dried out. It's a beautiful eyeliner. It's just a little bit shiny for me and I find that it dry, the tip dries out really quickly so I don't get, I can't, after like a month or so, I can do one eye and then once I get to the tip, of, like the wing of the other eye, it's dried out. So that makes me sad. I have the L'Oreal Super Slim Liquid Liner. Um, again, same thing with this one. It's, this is the swatch here. It's nice and black and if you're, on the market for a drugstore liquid liner with a felt tip pen. I only use felt tips. This is a great one. And the last liner I have is the Ardency in Punker liner. This is my holy grail liner. I bought another one. I'll swatch that one for you too. I mean, they're all, they all still have eyeliner in them. This one's Punker. This is Punker. This is Kat Von D. This is L'Oreal. They also have liner in them. It's just that once it gets to a point where I can't do one wing without it, like I'm over it. Um, I actually just found another liner in here. This is the Cap on e Tattoo Liner. I hate the tattoo liner because I hate brush tips. And honestly, I got this as a sample at IMATS. This is a swatch here. Like, I'm just an eyeliner. I'm just eyeliner right now. Um, it has a brush tip and I hate it. I got it as a sample at IMATS from the Cap on e booth and it was dried out when I got it. Love. Okay, I have like so much more stuff. I have two brow products. I have the Benefit Goof Proof. This is one of my Holy Grail brow products. It has that angled uh, brush, uh, angled tip like the Anastasia Brow Definer. It's cheaper than the Brow Definer and it has more product than Brow Definer. Suck on that, Anastasia. It's fantastic. I love it. You get a spoolie on one end and it's amazing. I repurchased it at IMATS. Finished up the NYX Eyebrow Gel and I didn't actually finish this up. It still completely has product in it, but it's just after I've had this for about a year, it just gets really dried out and for like seven to eight dollars it costs, I just buy a new one. Oh my god, my camera's almost dead. 
I have two more products. Um, I finished up the Falsies Push Up Drama. This is probably in like very black, waterproof. I love this mascara. It looks double ended, but it's not. It's just a weird tube. Um, the brush has plastic bristles that are really short. They really grab onto your lashes. I have repurchased this. It's what I'm wearing today. And I love it. And the last thing I finished up was the IT Cosmetics Your Skin With Better CC Plus Illumination Color Correcting Illuminating Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF 50. Thanks for that name, IT Cosmetics. I love this. This is my holy grail foundation for the summer. It's what I wore when I was in Texas. It's what I wore all summer. I bought this in May when I went to the States and I have finished it. That's insane for me considering I own 700 million foundations. So yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, it's super, I wouldn't say it's super full coverage, but like for a CC cream, it's got beautiful coverage, super dewy, natural skin-like finish. And I used to mix this with my MAC face and body for even more coverage when it wasn't as warm out and I loved it. Camera is dying. Those are all of my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.